Hey guys! And welcome to another episode of Let's Draw! In this episode, I'm gonna be drawing some different mouths and expressions, which was actually something of a challenge for me as well. Let's get started, so let's get some references. And I usually just go on Pinterest and find some pictures of the thing I want to draw. I recommend trying to find some real life pictures so you guys can start by copying from the real object and then move on to the style that suits you best. This way you can find your own way to simplify the shape whilst maintaining credibility. When I sat down and thought about what kind of mouse I could draw, I thought I'd start with the simplest shape, a calm but happy mouth. I usually start by drawing two marks at the side of the mouth, like two commas, which give me the basic size of the mouth and also helps me define the two endpoints for the middle stroke. So you can see here, you can draw like a, an arch in between these two endpoints. And this is the line that your mouth will follow in the middle. Then I draw the top lip and afterwards the bottom lip. In terms of shape, I much prefer this very simple cartoony mouth. I especially like uh, the shape without the dent in the middle. It's a bit like a Pocahontas lips in the Disney movie. I think it gives my girls a fierce but also innocent expression, um, so that's why I really like them. And if you want, you can give a little bit of a dent in the middle um, just to give it a bit more of a fleshy feel. So yeah, we're gonna call these simple mouth. And then let's move on and draw a simple but sad mouth. Sad or angry. The process for the simple sad mouth is pretty much the same as the happy one, but the line in between the endpoints uh, has to go up then down, like an inverted arch. And for the bottom lips, uh, you should make it a bit smaller and fleshier, as if the chin was pushing the lip upwards, which is, you know, what happens when our expression is sad or unsure in some way, like, mm, you know, that sound. So yeah, let's just write down, downturn, mouth, sad. Now let's draw an open talking mouth. In this case, the middle line should be as arched as you want your mouth to be open, since my talking mouth is still rather happy, uh, the sides of the mouth are looking up. The lower lip in this case can show a bit of a dent on the inside. Again, um, this is just to give the impression that the lips are full and soft. I wouldn't draw teeth or tongue in this position as I think it would just make the shape more confusing, wouldn't ultimately add very much to the expression. Let's deal with lips on a slightly turned face now. Here's the real difficulty. Of course, the two endpoints of the mouth in this case are invisible because one has theoretically gone behind their line of vision. So let's draw both end marks and follow this line of reasoning. By connecting them, we have to make the middle arch go back on itself and bend a little. When we then connect the upper and the lower lips, this makes a shape like the letter B. Here you still have the middle point, which is where the lips are at their fullest, but of course it will be slightly moved towards the right in this case, uh, like the rest of the face, because of our perspective. So now for our final and most difficult set of lips the talking angry mouth. We have to follow the same rules of perspective that we learned for the side mouth, but on top, these lips are parted and we have to draw teeth and tongue, which has always been my nightmare. For this mouth, I'm gonna change the shape of the lips a little bit because heart-shaped lips immediately give off an impression of sassiness, which is what I want to convey with this expression. And we also have to show the inside of the mouth, in this case, on the right side, which is where the middle arch 
reaches the second endpoint and joins with the upper and the lower lip. Now, for the inside of the mouth, the upper and the lower set of teeth are both showing to enhance the angry expression. Um, so as if the person is shouting or accusing. But I still wouldn't draw every single tooth, um, mainly because for my style of drawing, excessive realism can be as bad as not enough respect for correct anatomy, I think. So I would rather just draw a shape, um, a white shape, with a couple of spaces in between to give the impression of a line of teeth. So now that we have a sample of different shapes and expressions, I'm gonna color a couple of these mouths. For the first one, I'm gonna use a pink palette. And uh, to give the impression of three-dimensionality, it's good to color the upper lip um, of a slightly darker uh, shade than the lower lip and then use a third, even darker shade for the middle point, the very center of the mouth, in order to underline how that part is less extruded than the rest of the lip. So here I'm doing it on a Procreate app on my iPad Pro. Of course, this would be different if I were coloring in the traditional method, um, but instead, because I have in a Procreate app on my iPad. I'm just going to use layers and of course I can use the color picker um, to figure out my palette and all of these other things. But maybe I should do a tutorial on Procreate itself. So if you guys think I should, just comment below and um, I will. Having colored the lips with the flat shades, I am now adding some lights uh, to make the lower lip stand out more. I'm doing this by following the curve of the lower lip and painting some light drops uh, with a yellowish color and then setting the layer blending to add and lowering the opacity a tiny bit. So I use pink for this palette, but you know, you could use some more traditional tones or pink or blue tones even, but for the angry talking lips, I think I'm gonna use red and, uh, and then add some darker colors for the inside of the mouth. So here we are, um, the angry talking lips uh, finally colored. And uh, just to recap, here we have normal lips, uh, sad lips, open lips, side lips, and angry talking lips with a sassy kind of expression. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial about how to draw mouths. And I certainly enjoyed it because I finally had time to focus more on this branch of drawing, which it's something that I wanted to do for a while. So yeah, thank you so much and let me know in the comments below what you would like me to talk about next and um, subscribe, follow me on Instagram.